Good afternoon. Today is the first day after Labor Day's weekend. I hope you all had a great time. Now it's time to come back to work. And uh, today I would like to share some information about how to assess a, a clinic. When you're ready to look for a fertility clinic for treatment, you always want to decide how to find the right clinic. And one of the important two things, A, what's the so-called success rate? What's the pregnancy rate, in other word? Or secondly, about the cost. And today I would like to give a couple of guidelines to help you in choosing a right clinic to figure out, first of all, to figure out what and how to assess the success rate. So success rate or pregnancy rate the same, basically want to decide that as a patient, walk into the clinic, what's the chance they are going to have a baby, okay? Have a baby. So that's depend on several determining factors. But major determining factor is uh, in case of uh, in vitro fertilization is the quality of the embryo. This is called blastocyst stage embryo. So if the embryo expanded around 120 micrometer in diameter. This may be a good acquired embryo, and meanwhile I have a nice firm in, in cell mass. This eventually will become baby, and surrounded by many, many trough of fragment cells, then this embryo have a good chance to make baby. And secondly, you can check the uh, chromosomes, numbers, we know we have a we have many, many chromosomes. We have 23 pairs. So if we have 23 chromosomes and look like that, and this embryo should give 75% chance to make babies. So to success, to assess a clinic quality, then you can see what's the chance to making this kind of embryo at age less than 35 years old or 36 to 39 years old, or about 40 years old. Generally speaking, each all sides, the chance of making this kind of embryo, the chance is about around 15%. And here, it's about 10%, it's about 5%, meaning that per all sides will become an embryo with plus normal chromosome. So this is the one way to assess the quality of the embryo and clinic, but usually this looks too technique and you may not be able to really figure out each lab, what's the chance if you get egg from this lab to make two blastocyst stage embryo. So second way to assess the quality of the clinic is to see what's the chance you get a 30, a, a patient walk into your room, you give them the baby. So generally speaking, if they go through one IVF attempt at age 35, usually they should have about a 60% chance. Walking to your clinic as a person, you give me a baby, 60%. 36 to 39 is around 40%. If more than 40 years old, over speaking, about 20. So this 
is a per patient walk into your clinic. Now, why I keep saying per patient walk into the clinic? For this patient walk into your clinic, but if she did a 10 IVF cycles, get a baby, then the quality may be poor the lab. But if she only did the once, get a baby, quite good. But that's why, generally speaking, a patient walking into a clinic should this this up the first try of IVF. So I hope this information is helpful to you. And when you assess the quality of the clinic, last thing you want to remember is you do not ask a success rate without asking the age. The age is the only mother nature determining factor. What's the chance to have a baby? And rest part is based on the clinician experience and the quality of the, the lab. Have a wonderful day. Bye.